Well, hi, fellow YouTubers. Before I do an oil change on my van, my 1996 Ford Club Wagon, uh, I would like to show you what I did for theft protection for my Cadillac converter. I got my knee pads on. I'm going to show you right underneath the vehicle. It's already installed. I bought from Walmart Peerless, that's P E E R L E S S, 316s inch cable kit it was 30 feet long in a package with six clamps i used 10 feet for this theft proofing and i have 20 feet left for something else to cut it i used my grinder cutter electric grinder cutter i also spray painted the cadillac converter with this enamel paint from AutoZone. They say a uh, bright color helps deter people from stealing your Cadillac converter or at least identifying it if the police catch them with it. it just highlights it. Also I went to eBay and ordered for three dollars each these military stainless steel dog tags with my VIN number it says death, death deterrent VIN. So the police uh, know who the Cadillac converter belongs to if they find someone with it. I spray painted it, I uh, gave it two coats. Uh, this isn't a super high temperature paint, so uh, it's for engines, so it doesn't require any kind of baking on uh, procedure, although it did smell of it uh, the first few times I drove the car around. Now, my Cadillac converter still has the factory um, heat shield that keeps you from setting uh, weeds on fire where you park. Um, if you've removed, if this has been removed from your vehicle because of rusting this uh, shield, then uh, the paint might uh, not adhere as well to the extra hot catalytic converter. You might have to buy an even hotter temperature paint. Well, let me show you what I did. So I've got three wraps of cables, three separate wraps of cables. I wasn't especially easy, but I worked the cabling through the sheet metal of the heat shielding on the catalytic converter and then I went up and found a hole in the frame brought it back down and I put on two of these clamps that the kit came with six of these probably one of these clamps would be enough I think the nuts are uh, 5 16 for the socket or rinse that you'll use to tighten them then I added one to the back side of the catalytic converter went through up and around this heat shielding is welded so it's gonna be hard for someone to just yank it off when they steal this um, down a frame member and then I felt like I needed just one more so this one actually goes on the top the top has the same holes this is the most difficult but I snaked it from one hole to the other out and then up and around a frame member of my van. I left just a little slack so that uh, these can, won't uh, yank on the catalytic converter if the exhaust system moves a little bit. Uh, now these uh, military dog tags that I got, I had to uh, drill an extra hole in them and use some rivets to put them in there. Drill a hole in the sheet metal uh, heat shielding of the Cadillac converter and you can move these wires around so you can uh, hide your clamps up as best you can uh, anyway anyone that wants to steal my Cadillac converter is going to have to work extra hard um, from what I understand they often use a electric sawzall and this cabling is uh, difficult to cut with those sawzall uh, it'll definitely slow them down um, plus uh, the uh, color paint and the stainless steel tags. I think they'll go on to someone else. There's my catalytic converter and there's my muffler. Well, I just wanted to share with you. Catalytic converter thefts are on the rise. And this is, isn't anything new in 2008. It was a big problem as well. We're going to probably see it again. I plan to keep this van a long time. Now I can sleep better. Take care. Hope it gives you an idea. Just showing you what I did.
Uh, I'm not a professional. Whatever you do is at your own risk. I'm just sharing what I did. Take care. Bye-bye.